A guided missile makes a direct hit on an Israeli tank. The video released by Hezbollah's media wing underscores the dangerous and sometimes deadly standoff between the group's fighters and Israeli forces on the tense border between Lebanon and Israel. Since Hamas's surprise attack on Israel a week and a half ago, sporadic strikes and counter-strikes have flared along the rugged, mountainous frontier. There have been deaths on both sides, combatants and civilians. The tensions have been enough to rattle nerves and prompt Israel to impose a four-kilometer deep closed military zone on its side of the border. But still not enough violence, perhaps, to precipitate an all-out war so far. Hezbollah fought a more than month-long war with Israel in 2006, and since then, with Iran's help, has grown only stronger. In the southern town of Qana, the group's supporters stage a small rally in support of Gaza, repeating the usual slogans of death to Israel, death to America. Our history shows slogans aren't enough for us, Hezbollah parliament member Hossein Jeshi tells me. We have plenty of experience with the Zionist enemy. They know our power well. Iran, Hezbollah's backer and ally, has warned if Israel continues with what it calls its aggression on Gaza, the conflict could expand. United Nations peacekeepers have picked up their patrols along the border but they can only do so much. Hezbollah Monday put out more video showing their men shooting out Israeli surveillance cameras. There isn't a no man's land along the border. In some places, there's a wall, but in others, you can peer right down into Israeli towns like Metula. Clearly visible are Israeli troops running from house to house. For years, an unwritten understanding was in place whereby a certain amount of cross-border fire between Hezbollah and Israel was tolerated. But with the war in Gaza about to enter perhaps its bloodiest phase yet, that understanding is starting to erode. Ben Wiedemann, CNN, Southern Lebanon.